What's up, family? What's up, family? We are week 10 in the NFL season. Want to know what that means? That means the playoffs are right around the corner. Playoffs, family, are right around the corner. Are you ready? Let me break this down for y'all. First game, we have Detroit versus Chicago. Now, I told y'all last week, Detroit's capable of beating anyone, but they're also capable of losing to anyone. So, it's Anyone that can lose to Chicago right now, it would be the Detroit Lions. It would be. And they're an insanely talented football team on both sides of the football. Matt Stafford's putting up all the odds in the world, putting up all the great statistics, but he ain't going to win. He ain't going to win. I'm taking Detroit, however, for this one reason. They're playing against Mr. Trubisky. Chicago, I'm saying it. Cut your losses. I would take that L. I had the Bears in the Super Bowl. Because I saw his maturation from year one to year two. I expected another big leap to year three. And he's looking worse than he did in year one. I didn't like him when he came out the draft. Last year made, him, made me a believer. Think about it. If that kick against Philly went how it should have went, Bears probably going to have been in the Super Bowl last year. That's real shit. They, they probably would have been in the Super Bowl with that defense. You're wasting away a championship defense. Now, I'm watching him, and he's missing basic throws. I don't want to hear about, oh, I mean, basic throws that can move the chains. Basic shit right there in front of him, and he's not pulling the trigger. He's not. It's in his head now. It's in his head. There's something between the ears. He's not there. Go to Chase Daniels right now. They need to go to Chase Daniels. They go to Chase Daniels, they can win this football game. Because at very least, Chase Daniels is going to, he's not going to do the exceptional, but he's going to do the basic shit. And he's not going to piss it away for you. Go to Chase Daniels. Then you got a chance. But since they have it, I'm taking the Lions. Baltimore versus Cincinnati. Do I really need to speak on that? Baltimore. Buffalo versus Cleveland. Now, Cleveland, here's my problem with Cleveland. Cleveland seems to give a shit about all the wrong things. Odell want to wear watches during the game, but half a million dollar watches during the game. Odell want to wear cleats he can't wear during the game. Now, Jarvis Landry doing the same. Baker's changing his facial hair during the game. All of this, they were reminding me of the Houston Rockets, but they're not as good as the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets and basketball at the very least, very least, at the very least are a playoff team. But I say they reminded me of the Houston Rockets because you have Russ and Nair with Harden. And I said online, they're going to be the swaggiest team in basketball. They're going to be the swaggiest team. They're going to make the great, great memes, nice dance routines before the game. But they ain't going to win. They probably still get bounced in the first round. And... Cleveland's reminded me that in football. They ain't going to get bounced in the first round. They probably ain't going to make the playoffs. I had them at least making the playoffs this year. I figured that. I gave them the benefit of the doubt, but it seemed like y'all are in the news for all the wrong shit other than winning football games. Y'all are in the news for what comes out of your mouth other than what com what you're doing on the field. And now you're going against a defense in Buffalo. Yeah, you're home. You're going against a defense in Buffalo that they put foot to ass. They put foot to ass. And all these penalties and all these stupid ass mistakes y'all keep making, they're going to expose y'all for it. And I'm taking Buffalo. Casey versus Tennessee. Now it was ruled last night that Patrick Mahomes, the video game, is going to play. It was ruled last night that he's going to play in... I know how much I love Patrick Mahomes. I think they could have waited an extra week because the way Matt Moore's playing, their defense stepped up. They could have waited another week to beat Tennessee. I like Tennessee's defense. I know that. And Ryan Tannehill's a different quarterback at home. But as long as they can slow down the run game, I think they could do enough to, to win this game. I think they could do enough. Don't let Derrick Henry go get off. Defense played great last week. Got Chris Jones back. Let's see them keep this thing going. I'm taking Kansas City. 
Atlanta's coming off a bye. For us, well, New Orleans is coming off a bye. Hell no. Atlanta's 1-7 for a reason. I will say this, though. They're a very talented football team. If they finish 2-14, 2-14, maybe, that means they're going to be drafting very high. And unlike other teams, they don't need a quarterback. Just putting that out there for Atlanta next year. Just putting that out there. You're going to lose this week, though. I'm taking New Orleans. Giants versus Jets. No, no Brooklyn boy, so I'm going to put y'all viewers out there. I'll let y'all know something. When you're in New York, you have to make a choice. Knicks, Nets. It's a pretty easy choice now. But this is why Nick fans, diehard Nick fans, we, we just can't convert. You show love for the other side when they win in, but you made a choice. Yankees, Mets, Rangers, Islanders, you have to choose. In Giants, Jets, I made my choice a long time ago, and that's Big Blue. And I'm not just taking the Giants because I made my choice, and that's my mom. I'm taking the Giants because the Jets are fucking horrible. Jets are fucking horrible. I'm going to say this again. The Jets are fucking horrible. Terrible. And they're making Sam Donald even worse. Y'all know I wasn't a big fan of Sam Donald. But damn, he shouldn't be looking this damn bad. He should not be looking this damn bad. Both the Jets have a better run defense than the Giants. So I expect Le'Veon to look better than Saquon. Giants have a myriad of injuries. You know, Evan Ingram's always hurt. Like, what the fuck? I mean, he's always hurt. And, of course, Shep with all his concussion issues. Get well soon, brother. I like Danny Dimes more than I like Sam Darnold. Danny Dimes ain't seeing ghosts. I'm rolling with my Giants. Arizona versus Tampa. Now you got Jameis versus Kyle Murray. And the fact that the Arizona Cardinals has had 10 days of preparation. They've had 10 days to prepare for Jameis. I spent the higher... <sighs> Every time I roll with Jameis with games, I think he should win. He lets me down. He turns the ball over all over the place. And this is a game that he should win. He should win. I say this again. He should win. But I just don't trust this rape old motherfucker. I don't. I don't. He will find a way to fuck this up. And Arizona will win. Hmm? Miami on the road in Indy. Do I need to say anything else? Indianapolis is winning this game. Now Carolina. Very good game. Carolina on the road in Green Bay. I think Green Bay is going to get their shit together. After getting their ass kicked the way they did last week. A-Rod's not going to play as bad as he did. And here's the thing. Everybody talked about him being able to rush the quarterback and all of that. Not every team has the bookends that the Chargers have. <laughs> you know, with Joey Bosa. Not everybody has a Joey Bosa and, and Melvin Ingram. Not everyone has that, okay? So not everyone can do what the Chargers did. Panthers do have a great defense. This has been a good matchup for years now. And the Panthers are playing different now because Kyle Allen is playing really good ball. Really, really good ball, but I expect the Packers to win a low-scoring game. I expect they rob to make plays late. Then you got the Rams against Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know I'm not the biggest fan. I'm saying uh, Jared Goff, but they are coming off a bye. And the fact that Pittsburgh's defense is playing good last few weeks, especially against the Rod and Jared Goff for no running game. Yeah, I know I'm not jacking that, but I don't know if Pittsburgh scored enough points. I don't think they can score enough points. I see this being like a, a 19 to 16 game. Jared Goff could at least score 19 points in Pittsburgh. I'm going with the Rams. Minnesota on the road in Dallas. Big game, prime time. Two very, very loaded rosters. In my opinion, probably the two most loaded rosters in the NFC. Just my personal opinion. Just my personal opinion. Two very, very loaded rosters. The NFC is loaded with teams that got great loaded rosters both sides of the ball. When you just look at all areas of football. 
and you have two quarterbacks who are kind of enigmas, you know what I'm saying? Where their play can really just take them to the Super Bowl or, you know, be 9-7 to seven, get bumped in the first round. Because everything else is there. And these are the kind of games that Kirk Cousins, historically, blows it. He stinks up the joint and he loses. And Dallas is home. They're going to get that running game going. I believe in that. And Minnesota's defense stunk it up last week in KC. Against Matt Moore. Against Matt Moore. Now you got Zeke Elliott. Look what Damian Williams did against them last week. Now you got Zeke to deal with. Prime time in Jerry's world. That's going to be a fucking problem. That is going to be a big fucking problem. I'm rolling with Zeke and the Cowboys. Now Seattle. Monday night you got Seattle versus San Fran. Here's the thing about that game. Yeah, I know how much I love Seattle. Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson was my preseason pick for MVP. And I really liked 49ers. My thing was, it's all on Jimmy G, how far he goes, how far they go. Because their defense, I loved their defenses last year. I told y'all last year they were a year away. Look at, that, look at them now. They got the edge rushes they needed. They're monsters. And the problem is, when I look at... Uh, when I look at Seattle, this ain't the Legion of Boom, defensively. This is why they have these close games, even against horrible teams, because the offense is so much better than it was in years past. But the offense is not still ain't really great, but the offense itself, so much better. Russell Wilson, so much better. But the defenses, you know, Javion Klein, I looked up, what, three sacks? He's not playing bad. Two, three sacks for the season. Or the season, because Seattle's defense doesn't do what Houston's defense does. Moving them around, put them in elephant position, you know, let them rush from different different gaps. Do all those creative things, and you don't have J.J. Watt to bounce off. Seattle's defense, line up, go. There's no trickery with their defense. It's line up, go. So, you get Jadavion Clowney, and you think it's line up, go. And you think he's going to get you 12 plus. That ain't happening. Now, is he better than the guy in Detroit who got paid? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I understand him wanting to get paid. But this is the kind of game where the lack of defense on Seattle shows itself. And 49ers will be able to run the football. They have a great running game. And Jimmy G will play off that. 49ers win. Those are my picks. That's my take. Let me know what you thought. Let me know how you feel. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru, and I'm out. Salute.